people. You sound tired. Yeah. Just woke up. You're late. Are you coming by? Uh-huh. I've been working a lot. I just finished up with a client. I fell asleep when I got home. Are you okay? Yeah. Well, hurry up and get over here. What's the rush? A little surprise is waiting for you. I like surprises. What do you got for me? It wouldn't be a surprise if I told you. You'll have to wait and see. This will be a night you'll never forget. I'll be there before you know it. Back in town. Marcus, oh shit, man. I thought you weren't going back for a couple weeks. Ah, a few things came up. I had to get out of it sooner than I wanted. It's good to see you, man. Oh, what's been going on since I've been gone? Shit, this place looks great. Thanks, man. Working hard, fixing it up, you know, trying to graduate. Yeah, what's that supposed to happen? I got about a year left in the residency starts. Well, I don't work. I don't work. Sure as hell took you long enough. I bet you never thought the street race could make it through, did you? Oh, man, I didn't touch you for a minute. Man. Who would have taken it out longer if I hadn't taken your advice? Don't oh, give me the credit, man. You got a mind of your own. Yeah, but I like to use it for less important things, too. You're not wrong there. Hey, remember all the old times? In Club Fuchsia? You know it, muchacho. Tonight? Yeah, you coming? When did I ever miss a night out of Club Fuchsia? Good music won't be the only thing there. Should I even ask? Everyone's gonna be there, plus a little surprise for you. No surprises, man. I had enough in a lifetime. No, this one you like, though. Hey, I remember you telling me about a girl you met in Miami. Did she come up with you? Didn't work out, man. This is probably make you feel better. Yeah. What about you, uh, what about Dana? I didn't tell you? Oh shit, that happened while you were away. Man, what did she do to get kicked to the curb? It'd be funny, man. Listen to this. One night I finished work early, so I thought I'd surprise her with a nice dinner when she got in. So I run to the store and I buy $70 worth of good food, you know? All right, some arroz con pollo. Yeah, so we'll change the surprise. So after I dropped the bag twice walking up the stairs, I walk in and I hear the stumping noise coming from the bedroom. So I figure somebody broke in through the fire escape. So I grab my gun. Then I say, nah, because I don't know who it is and you know, I just got the floor recarpeted. So I grab my bed instead. I open the door and I hear this movement on the bed. When I open the lights, she's laying there with Cindy. Que puta, man, who's Cindy? Oh, I don't know, that was a chick's name. Oh man, only you could have your girl cheat on you with another girl. Yeah, you know my local women. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Could happen to the best of us. She did your favor. Look, uh, I got a few things to do. I'll see you tonight. All right, bro. I'll see you later. See, Max made it back into town last night. Good. And do me a favor. This isn't Colombia, Jack. Answer me in English when I ask you a question. I answered it in English. No, you didn't. You said C. C is Spanish for yes. Yes is English for yes. I want you to speak to me in English. This is America. Understand? This job I've been doing for you, I don't understand. Look, it's not your job to understand. You're supposed to do as you're told, and that's all. Now, I hired you because you had a good track record with Emilio. Look, Jack. When I was a kid, there was something I learned that I was promised. If I followed, I'd make it to the top fast. Now I'm going to pass it along to you. 
Make the boss's life easier. That's the way you make it in this business, in America. Whatever you say, Mr. Gallo. I've been waiting for this opportunity for a long time. There's a lot of money at stake here. You can't get fucked up any more than it already is. We don't want to upset our Asian interests before we deliver. Is there anything else? No. Yeah. Marcus is back in town. So what's up, man? It's glad to be back in town. Tell me about it. Come on, everyone's by the DJ booth. DJ booth, I like saying that. Thank you. You didn't waste any time. What, you couldn't wait till I got here? How many did you have? Two, three, four, five, six. Happy New Year. Come on, who's counting? Hey, don't forget the one I had before you got here. Come on, let's go over there. Hey, look who's back. Oh my hey. god, Marcus! I haven't seen you in such a long time. You went to Miami and you left without saying goodbye. When did you get back? I'm back this morning. Shit, it's like I never left. So, how you been? I'm traveling a lot. We just got back from Amsterdam. Yeah, I'm modeling. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. oh, is that Marcus? Oh, it's about time you got your ass back here, man. How you been? I thought you were going for good. Oh, man, you know that's never going to happen. Oh, so, dude, are you here to stay or are you oh, going again? Stay. Did what I had to do on my end. Oh, South Beach? Oh, man, we hate to lose you to South Beach, especially without me, kid. Oh, besides, man, things just aren't the same without you here. What, you mean less exciting? You're not going to get me to believe that. Oh, hey, hey, hey. We've been uh, doing some traveling ourselves thanks to uh, Leah's modeling career. <laughs> yeah, she was telling me. So how was Amsterdam? <gasps> oh, 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 shit. We're coming back from JFK Airport. Going through customs and shit. We got our suitcases lined up in front of us, right? How come these dogs and custom agents, they start sniffing around really hard? No, I'm shitting my pants, man. Because I got these fine genetic hybrid Marvels wrapped tight in plastic, right? And I put them in these little film canisters, you know, black film canisters that uh, film come in, right? And the disguise is <laughs> I put some cologne, man. It was my alarm from Chanel. Whatever. Anyway, these three dogs, right? They come up on my back. And they start sniffing really hard, like, right? And then they just leave. So? Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Turns out, those dogs, they weren't sniffing the drugs, man. They were sniffing the fucking bombs! C4 and shit! Oh, man. Amst oh, dude, my bad. Amsterdam, man, was totally worth the risk. Totally, man, totally worth the risk. Some things never change, Eddie. Shit. Anyway, what kind of a county you were doing in Miami? Nothing big, just some export. Can you get off this Miami car? Oh, yeah. Marcus can help you out with investing in the stock market. Oh, oh yeah, really? you thinking of investing? I don't even know where to start. Tell him. He helped me out with these stocks. It turned out great. They helped me fix the gym up and get through medical school. Yeah. Hey, we can talk about it at a better time. Oh, speaking of time, you should surprise your beer right about now. You know what he's talking about? I have no idea. Hey, Paisan. Check this out. This party's just getting started. I need a beer. Anybody need a beer? Uh, I'm okay. Hey. I told you I shouldn't have come. I know, Marcus. No way you're back. 
been a while. Oh, hey. Yeah. Can I get you something? Yeah, let me get a beer. I'm gonna go talk to him. That's a good idea. Yo, is that Mina, man? Yeah, what, you have you still have a thing for her? Oh baby. I mean, what'd she ever do to you? Nothing, I just don't like her, never have. I've been telling me this guy. Oh man, usually he's pretty good. That's what I heard. Excuse me. Hey, sure. Can we go somewhere on top? Right here's fine. Somewhere private. What do you want to talk about? Why are you being like this to me? Like what? Like that. You know, I, I thought you would have forgotten about it. It was a long time ago. I don't forget. I should have never gotten involved with you. You don't mean that. Like hell I don't. What about all the good times we had that meant nothing to you? They meant more to me than they did to you. What are you trying to do to me, Mina? It's not what you think. No? Then what is it? My lifestyle? My work? It's not easy for me to tell you. What are you doing here anyway? Spain didn't work out? I did go there, but you know, now I'm back. Thank you. Remember the plans we made? We'd go there together. Leave everybody and everything behind. All that shut the hell. I never stopped loving you. Couldn't wait a few months. What do you and the girl situation? I mean, me and the Mina situation. You got so much going for you, man. Why do you work with a little more confidence? You gotta come across like you got something they want. Here, check this out. What are you doing, man? Why don't you go in there and ask her how much your haircut is? We back in high school? She's busy, man. She don't wanna be bothered. Are you kidding? Look at the way she's smiling at you. She's reading a fucking magazine. You hesitate, and you lose your chance. You did the same shit with my cousin a few years ago. You forced me to go out with her. That's bullshit, man. She liked you. She even said you were a nice guy. Did you tell her I said thanks? Yeah. You know, she changed a lot since then. She don't look as good anymore. Yeah, what happened? She got older. Hey, did you get laid? You never told me. It's your cousin. You didn't. You know why? Because she said you're a nice guy. When a girl says you're nice, that's another way for them to say they don't want to sleep with you. A girl knows within the first five seconds of meeting you if they're going to sleep with you or not. Yeah. When did you become such an expert on women? I'm around women all the time, man. I know. What's going on, man? You haven't been yourself lately. I haven't seen you in two years. You're not acting the same, especially in front of Mina. Yeah, well, things change. Something happened while you were in Miami. What do you say like that? Because I'm the only one that knows what you do for a living. I'm at the point of no return on this, man. Talk to me, man. What's going on? Talk about it tomorrow. I got a few things to take care of. Remembered where you kept the spare. You look like shit. I, before you throw me out, let me talk. I'm not gonna throw you out, you're gonna leave with me. You know, it doesn't have to be this way. Way? There's no way. What about all the good times we had? You're just gonna 
Forget everything? You no, know, he used the right word, had. All the wild and fun things we did. I never said it was bad. That's a past. And I decided to move on just like you did. Don't I have a right to change my mind? You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. And whoever I want. Have dinner with me tomorrow night. No. <laughs> you have plans? No. Now you do. I always get what I want. Meet me at our old place, 10 o'clock. And if I don't? Then you don't. What do you think you're trying to accomplish? I don't know yet. It had nothing to do with Mina showing up at my place this morning. No, she did that on her own. Damn, she wants you back, doesn't she? What do you think? She wants me to go out with her tomorrow night. You gonna go? Maybe. What's the problem? Yeah, I don't want to mess around with that girl anymore. It's a lot of trouble, a lot of wasted time. Yeah, but did you have fun with her? Yeah. But it was time well spent. She probably wants to rekindle some of those old bedroom memories. It'd be the same thing all over again. Like I told her, I'm telling you, it's in the past. Yeah, and this is the present. And I'm telling you, go out and have a good time with her. What else do you have to do now? Why are you pushing this on me, man? You look good together. <laughs> you need to worry about your own love life. I'm working on that right now. Watch this. Permiso. Usted me podría hacer un favor y decirle a la señorita esa que me gustaría invitarle para un trago. Eso no va a funcionar, amigo. No? No. You just have to be confident. No es verdad. It comes across mm -hmm. over your whole energy. Women pick up on that, you know? Oh, energy, okay. Okay, see? Sí. Yo le digo. Gracias. You know, one guy can say something to a chick and totally turn her off. Then a different guy will come along and say the same exact thing, and he'll have her in better 15 minutes. Yeah, but you're not saying anything. She's doing all the talking. One woman bringing a man's message to another woman is all the more powerful. She's coming over. Damn, look at that. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, how you doing? I'm Chanko. This is Marcus. Uh, would you like a drink? Are you okay? Why do you keep smiling like that? I'm so happy you asked me to join you. You're so handsome, Chanko. I'm Vicky. I've been waiting at the bar all morning, waiting for someone to talk to me. Well, today's your lucky day, Vic. Because my man Chanko here is going to buy you a drink. Yeah, we're going to have a blast. So what do you do? Oh, he's in med school. Wow, that's great. Yeah. I'm about to have an operation in a few weeks. Maybe you'll help me to comfort and ease my mind. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm gonna leave you two little birds alone. Uh, I'm sorry, did I say love birds? Uh, what type of surgery did you say you were having? Crazy or something? I'm sorry, I, I thought you were someone else. Yeah, I feel I'm sorry. sorry for her. When's he coming? He'll be here. So what happened with Vicky? She said she was in the final stages of becoming a real woman. That if I wanted to, I could check her out after her operation. She's looking for a straight man, someone to marry her. Do I look gay to you? It must be your energy, the way you carry yourself. Besides, she's gonna be a real woman soon. You should give her a call. Remember that happened to me once before? What the fuck was her name? Sasha? <laughs> How could I forget? I'm the one who picked you up at 4 o'clock in the morning in your underwear in the corner of 125th and Broadway when you found out what type of woman she was. That was 10 years ago. Yeah, we had some great times. When am I gonna meet someone cool, man? I feel like time's running out. Man, you're gonna be a doctor soon. You own the gym. You should have a million women on your shit. But I don't. That's a problem. That's always been the problem. You always have someone, man. I envy it. 
It's not like that, man. Back there. I thought I saw Laura. Thing is, she's dead. And I ran out there and made a fool out of myself. What happened? It was a bomb. It's hard for me to accept. So many things just don't make sense. How do things get so fucked up? I wish we were kids again. You remember, we used to go sailing almost every weekend con tu papa out on the Hudson in that tiny boat. We had some great times. Remember we were supposed to get a 45-footer and go sailing from island to island on the Caribbean? That's about five years past two. When are we going? I haven't forgotten. Got some money put away. When I get out of here, I'm gonna buy me one of those and live on it. I'm there with you. What about your residency at the hospital? I could do that anywhere. I envy you, man. You still live on the edge. I wish I could do the same. Hey, we grew up in this neighborhood. Think about what you're saying. You should be glad you got something good going for you. Here he is. Good, just want to relax. Let's go. What the hell are you smiling at? It's good to see you again. You know him, man. He's always smiling. Are you stoned? I can't believe it, you're stoned. How far is this place? It's about an hour. It's great, man. It's a great ride. There's so many great places outside the city no one knows about. The scenery up there is great. You're gonna love it. Yeah, I can't wait. You just trust me? trails. <laughs> Over there, I think. You think? What's with the gun? Hey. Check this out. I don't believe it. You're making a run? This is why we're here? Look, we're going hiking. Just after this bumpkin picks up his shipment. What? You don't think I want to ponder the nature, man? Do you have to have the guns? You're gonna get in trouble with that shit. Look, this guy's gonna have a shotgun, okay? I figured, you know, we should have our pistols. Oh yeah, I forgot. You don't like carrying. Well, it makes me feel safe, okay? They only want the purest stuff up here. And they pay for it, too. Come on, come on. He put you up to this? 
He didn't put me up to anything. He asked me if I wanted to go on a delivery for some backup. You were here, we're all friends, so I figured you wouldn't mind. I do mind. I know, that's why I didn't tell you. What the hell is wrong with you? I need the money, man. It's for new gym equipment. Can you tell me I live on the edge? What do you need the guns for? I never needed to carry. I think he's concerned with your future. You don't need this trouble. What trouble? One day he's gonna get killed delivering this shit. You know he's nuts with the bombs and guns and stuff. And you're gonna be there when it happens. My medical training will come in handy. I'll do my best to save him. It's good practice. Are you okay, man? Yeah. Hey, remember when we were kids? You blew up the cop car that was coming around the corner? <laughs> <laughs> he sent me to the drugstore to pick up the chemicals. How long did you spend rigging that thing? Oh, man. Four hours. <laughs> yeah, and you left. I had school. We all had school. <laughs> you should have seen it. Cop car pulls around the corner. Real slow. And we're sitting on the porch. We got the wire out into the street. And he pulls up and he stops right where I said he was going to stop. And I give him the signal, right? And he plugs the wire into the wall. And BOOM! <laughs> I swear to God. All four tires must have come off the floor about three feet. <laughs> they don't know what the fuck hit them, man. And then, there's like smoke everywhere. About, there's this <laughs> like five second delay, and the sirens go off. And they come stumbling out, all confused and shit. <laughs> Looking underneath the car, around the house. <laughs> yeah, and I'm reeling the wire in like it's a fishing pole. And all the while we're watching on the porch. You missed it, man. What if he would have killed one of them? I don't know, we were kids. Why do you come down, man? What makes this different from what you do? It's different. No, it isn't. I don't use guns. Right on time. Marcus, close the trunk. Get my keys. You must be Eddie. Yeah. Well, we got some business to take care of. Who are your friends? Friends? All right. Follow me. Exporting is what it used to be, Joe. I can't get any more good old American blue-collar labor in the yard anymore. Fucking demands are ridiculous. Everybody's educated these days. You're telling me. Anyway, I need a few guys to watch over these Guatemalans while they load up my boats. The other day, one of these guys was backing up a truck, drunk off his ass, and he pinned another one against a loading dock wall. The guy's eyeballs popped out of his head from the pressure. <laughs> Did he make it? No. No, he died under the ramp. They found him two hours after the truck pulled away. I had to clean up the whole fucking mess. Nobody knew where he went. He was the only one that spoke English. I don't know, they're good workers. They just can't be left alone. I need a few guys just to help keep him in line. I got a few guys for you. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm in a meeting. One's on end two. Hey, Juan. Yeah, my ship got stuck in the Panama Canal. It was stuck there for over a month. Yeah, I was out of the, I was out of the country for a couple of weeks. I'm sorry I didn't get back. My here. boss in Hong Kong is very angry, Mickey. 
Our investor was supposed to have the security two months ago. Your excuses have run out. Hey, hold on, hold on, okay? The papers are ready. You just have to make a phone call, all right? Just give me a week or two more. I make good on my end of the deal. Now I'm in the middle, and I look bad. You say I was in good hands. Hey, you are in good hands. Okay, who else can you rely on to do this? My boss give me three days, Mickey. You gotta help me out here. Your father never treated us like this. Best of all, your company has not been good since he died. You better have those papers for me in three days, or you might end up like him. You okay? Yeah. Listen, I need something else from you. I need a little extra backup. Just security for an exchange that's going down. Okay, when? A few days. Something I ate. Ah. Hope to God it's not food poison. The fuck are they doing over there? Look, I want to hang back here. You go do what you got to do. Just don't get killed. Oh. Okay. I flew it in special from Amsterdam. You can't get that anywhere in the States, man. Hey guys, sorry to bother you. What's up? Welcome to the film to me. That's sick. You alright, man? Yeah, yeah, just a little sick. You want some water or something? No, thanks. I'm okay. Go ahead. Yeah, man, and these dogs, they were just like sniffing around and shit. But they weren't sniffing hey. for the drugs, man. they were sniffing for like C4. A it's second thought, uh, we got a bathroom I can use? Uh, yeah, just open up the barn door, walk to the back. In the back? Yeah. Fucking guy, man. my gym the other day? Yes, I did. How do you like it? It's okay. I bet there's a story behind why you're here. 
I'm running around the lake. No, I mean your accent. It gives it away. Where are you from? Why do you want to know? What? Well, the fact that you came up to me and I don't know you tells me you want something. What do you want? Um, I just told you I own the gym. I was just trying to make conversation. Uh... <laughs> you guys. Give you a little challenge and you crack under the pressure. You're funny. How many times have you used that line? I bet there's a story while you're here. It's not a line. Guy's got to say something unique to an interesting girl. So I interest you. You can say that. Nice clothes, the way you carry yourself. Nice clothes. And? Great legs. Definitely the legs. You definitely know what to say. Well, it was great meeting you. What's your name? Chanko. Chanko? Cute. Well, I, I'm going to continue running now, so I'll uh, see you later. Wait. Wait. Jenko, are you following me? Yeah. Don't you have anywhere better to be now? I run around the lake almost every day. I like to meet new people, make new friends. Also, now we're friends. So you're not trying to pick me up? Not until you tell me your name. Lana. Lana? Cute. So where are you from, Lana? You have to guess. Another challenge. I like that in a woman. West New York. Not with that accent. I mean, where were you born? England? No. Tell you what. I'll leave it for you to figure out, and you can tell me tonight. Tonight? You're taking me out. Wow. Not only a sense of humor, but she makes some moves, too. I'll see you at gym at 6. Dining area or the bar? Actually, I'm meeting someone here. Mr. West? Yeah. Oh, your party's here already, this way. Thank you. You look nice. Nice? Is that all? Stunning as usual. You're in a better mood than you were yesterday. Yeah, it turned out to be a pretty good week. Being here with you, it's topping it off. I'm glad. That means no bad feelings tonight. Just want to sit here and relax with a beautiful woman. This we can do. A new beginning. Now, why should we toast to something like that? You can't answer that one for yourself. I've learned not to answer my own questions. Oh, why is that? We all have secrets we want to keep. Finding them out enhances the passion between two people. You trying to turn me on? Why are you not having a good time? What's so funny? Just thinking of uh, the last time we were here. <laughs> I remember. That was the uh, night I wasn't wearing any panties. How could I forget? That was a wild night. Is that what you call it? <laughs> Last time I remember, sex wasn't supposed to be dangerous. Come on, you have a sense of adventure. Are you scared? No, I just looked deserved. What makes you think I'm not recreating that night right now? I don't like it when a woman fucks with my head. Your head is not what I want to fuck.
anything you wouldn't do to get what you want. Nothing I know of yet. Right on time. I like that. Just give me a few minutes. Last time you weren't doing that anymore. It makes me feel horny when I'm fucking. You should try it. It's not a habit. That's what they all say. Where's your bathroom at? First door on the right. What's wrong? Nothing. I gotta take a piss. <laughs> Charming. Have you ever seen a site like that? Look at those buildings. The more you look, the more you see. Yeah, that's why I came here. The city? Yep. So... So what? Where's the accent from? <laughs> you still haven't figured it out yet. What do I know about accents? I'm an inner city Cuban kid. I'll give you a hint. Okay. The piano. Now you got me. The movie. Oh, with Harry Keitel? I remember seeing a preview for that. There were these black sand beaches and these high waves. New Zealand. Wow, that's far. What brings you to this dirty place? New York? Well, this is where I'm gonna make it in theater. A performer has to keep in shape. That's where you're coming in. So I'm helping you with your career. I'm the reason you're going to be famous. That's a body that's going to sweep everyone off their feet when they see you move on stage. You got it. In fact, I'm performing next Wednesday night. We could use an audience. It's a small off, off, off Broadway play. Nothing big yet. But hey, I'm not doing so bad. I only got here four months ago. You like it here? Yes. Sure, I'll go. Chenko. Yeah? Can you hold me? Yeah. You know what you said in there about your father? How he died? Well, the same thing happened to me. It was a long time ago now. He died when I was 11. I loved my father. He was my best friend. And one day he was... He just 
かも。We have a lot in common. I hope I'm not scaring you. I could just use a friend now. I'm here for you. Costa Rica. I never do this for uh, just anybody. You know, I've never been to a play in New York. I've always wanted to go, but like, I've never gotten the chance. I like movies better, I guess. Well, you'll be seeing me in those soon. Oh yeah? How long? Hmm, give me about a year, and I'll land a lead role. Wow. <laughs> so do I get free training for being a member? Oh, I'm running a special right now. Free training for girls from New Zealand until they get the body they want. I'll be right back. Hi. Are Hi. those for sale? Oh, yeah, but you have to come to the nightclub to buy them. Oh, you gotta help me out, please. Look, my girlfriend's going back home to New Zealand in a couple hours, and I wanted to buy those flowers for her before I got to the airport. Please, it's our last night together. I don't believe a word you're saying, but it's a good story. Look, I'll sell them to you, but you have to pay the club price. It's five dollars each. Okay, give me all of them. Sixty bucks. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice night. Okay. Hi. What are you doing? Here, hold these. Roses, are you crazy? <laughs> Here, oh, look at this. Nice. Hold this a second. What are you doing? Watch this. Roses are nice, but feel this. Wow. Oh, wow. That's so cool. That's so nice. Very creative. What else are you gonna do? Marcus. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there. Mickey. 
They say this river's getting cleaner, but it'll never be the way it used to be. Look at this shit. I used to swim here when I was a kid and eat the crabs that me and my father used to catch. It's a dead fish. Yeah, everything dies eventually. Now, being late isn't good business practice. Not late, what makes you say that? Where are they? What, stocks? What the fuck else would I be talking about? Look, I'm in no mood. You left town with the information on me. A simple job I gave you to do when you're late. Look, I'm sorry you're reminiscing and it's upsetting you. But I need a few days before it's ready. <laughs> you know, you're a sharp guy. I gotta give you credit, man. You got some set of balls down there. You know, if I were you, I'd take a long, hard look at that fish and think about what you're doing. You know what I'm talking about, West? i give you till tomorrow. Don't fuck this up. Let him go? Why don't you kill him? What are you, a fucking idiot? It's broad daylight. And I don't know where my papers are. I have to give him more time. He'll come through. Last side, come on. Keep your chest up. Perfect. East Coast. Yeah, I'm training Lennon right now. We were supposed to go out after. Why? All right. Yeah, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Is everything okay? Yeah, I have to help out a friend with something. Uh, I'll see you a little later, all right? Stock? Looks good. It's 20 million worth. You're lucky you weren't asleep or something, man. I need some shit now. Things go smooth for you. What's going on? Yeah, not this time. I'm stuck right in the fucking middle. Talk to me, man. What's going on? I'm working with the FBI. I got no choice. What happened? Gallo didn't know he was being watched by this Bora cocksucker. I didn't know Gallo was being watched. I got nailed. Now Bora's using me to get to Gallo. Gallo is in Gallo Export? It's a lot of writing to take credit for. Chinese investors buying the phony U.S. businesses? Millions are made in China. And Gallo gets his merchandise. I gotta take this and the disc to him. But when the exchange goes down with Wong, Gallo goes down. Where's Roar now? I got away from him. But he'll find me. He's one crazy motherfucker. He wants to get a promotion. He's, he wants to surprise everybody with this great crackdown. He's nuts. He told me all this. He's got to be on some heavy drugs. You can use a gun now, man. Kill him. I don't know if he's alone on this. That's what he said. 
Gallo sent someone to your place to pick this up? This definitely has something to do with Laura's death. I don't know if Gallo knows about Bora. All he knows is that I'm late on delivery. What do we do? I'm not getting you involved. You got too much going on. You need my help, you got it. I gotta move fast on this, man. It's Mina. Tell him I'm not here. Hey, Mina, how you doing? I'm at the gym. No, I haven't seen or talked to him today. Yeah, he's probably out catching up on some things. Okay, I told him you called. I'll be over before you know it. So? The dock workers. I've never seen Wong. Gal deals with him directly. You know what you're dealing with here? This is international relations. These people won't think twice about killing you. Your three letters don't mean shit to them. That's why I'm dealing with you myself. The less agents involved, the better. You work alone, don't you, West? Come on, let's go. You don't want to keep a good woman waiting. Now, I want that disc. See, the more information on Gal and Wang you give me, the safer and better off you'll be. There's no rush. I've got all the time in the world. But you don't. What's on the disc? Every little bit of information about Gallo and his export operations. Now, here's the key to the box. You know that alley around the corner from the bank? Yeah. I want you to wait there with the disc. A guy by the name of Jack will be there to pick it up. You're giving Gallo back the evidence that Bora needs to put him away? No, this is my plan to test Bora. It's time we set this thing in motion. You think I need this? Oh, look, we do this my way or no way. Okay. Right. How long is this fucking guy gonna be in there? What made you hire Marks for this anyway? Hey, he's got a good track record, just like you. An associate of mine recommended I use him. What a fucking mistake. If I knew three months ago I was working for the FBI, I would have cut my losses and killed him then. FBI? Right now, I just want my information and the stock. I'll deal with the FBI. It's been 20 minutes now. Maybe he came out of a different entrance. Check the alley. I'll wait here in case he comes out. He's fucking getting out of control. Shit! Are you Jack? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. The disc is right here, man. You don't need that. Throw it on the ground. Step back or I'll kill you. You 
you touch it and you both that. What's going on? Who the hell are you? I'm here for the disc. What the hell are you? You Jack? Who the hell is this? Someone just in the way. Now, why don't you just get out of here before you all get killed? What was that all about? Oh shit, you hit! Where the hell is Marcos? You got it? Get in! Where's the stock? I don't know, that's all there is. It was all fucked up. What happened? Other than the regular plan, some mass fool came and tried to take the disc. What? At first I thought it was part of your plan, but when the guy pulled the gun out, I knew something went wrong. Did he get the disc? No, Jack came, but, but the mask guy took a bunch of shots at him and hit him in the arm, ran down the alley. Shit! What the fuck is going on? It's Wong. He wants the stock from Gallo. Yeah, but you can't give it to Gallo because of Bora. Fuck Bora. Either way, my life is over. I should have never gotten you involved. Don't worry about it, man. You gotta come clean. Give Gallo what's his and disappear. Well, at least you got the company info back. Yeah, at least he's got that. So, is it all there? Hold on for a second. I'm having a problem bringing up the files. What? The computer froze up. It's back, but now everything is uploading to an outside terminal. What? Where? FBI. Well, stop it! I'm trying. He won't let me stop it. The whole operation is on there. What the hell is going on? Max fixed the disk to upload as soon as we opened it. That red son of a bitch! What are you gonna do now? I gotta pick up the stock and bring it to Gallo. What if you send someone to your place? Don't worry about me. What about Bora? Bora isn't who he claims to be. Now what? Fix things best I can and get the hell out fast. Shit, I'm late for letting this play. I gotta run inside the gym and get a ticket. I got 20 minutes to get there. I'll call you the second I get back, bro. Hey! Have a good time.
You don't return my calls? Again? I didn't know if you were trying to avoid me, so I came over to see what was up. How did you get in here? I thought we were getting closer to one another again. We are. What makes you think anything different? I don't know. I didn't hear from you after we had dinner and fuck. Mina! You know how it is with me. I had work. I was out of town. With another woman? No. Then? This conversation is ending right now. What are you hiding from me, Marcus? You're a control freak, you know that? What makes you think I'm hiding anything from you? I know you. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah? Bullshit carries you a great distance. I don't bullshit! What about what you're hiding? You think I'm hiding something? I don't know. I haven't quite figured that out yet. I'm not hiding anything. Are you sure? Let's talk about how you got in here. I told you I kept the spare. I'm sure you did. There's a problem. What? After you broke in here two days ago, I had the locks changed. You're crazy. I didn't break in here. The key got me in. I'm sure it did. Start explaining. Where did you get these? I'm sorry, it had to come down to this. I'll bet you are. They pay you well. Well enough. Gallo's smarter than I thought. Get a woman to do a hit. Gallo? I don't know who you're talking about. Of course. What made you decide to do it? Working for $15 an hour, cutting hair just didn't wet my pants. Not as good, isn't it? Not as good as watching you fall to the ground bleeding to death. Well, this rich woman that you slept around with really made you hate men, huh? The thought of watching me die excites you? Shut up, asshole. Where are those papers? What, do you think I'd leave them lying around the apartment? You know what you're doing, Mina. Give them the money back. Tell them I left town. They're only using you. Using me? I've been used my whole life. Everybody is used for something, baby. No good can come from this. Put down the gun and get out of here. By the time they find you dead somewhere, I'll be in the tropics sucking my ties. You mean Costa Rica? Maybe. But you won't be around long enough to find out. It was fun while it lasted. Being dead didn't work for me. Are you surprised? Laura? This should have been done a long time ago. But I have to do things myself. I told him I should have gotten rid of you when I was in Miami. But he wanted me out of the loop for my own safety. Idiot. You work with Gallo, too. The bastard is my brother. I hired this bitch to kill you, but she's too stupid and kept stalling. When a job has to be done, a job has to be done. Use those smarts of yours, Marcus. When Mickey found out you had a history of working for the Chinese, he sent me to Miami to watch you. He was a bit concerned you might not deliver on time and risk upsetting his client. He wanted to be sure you didn't fuck him. It was the perfect opportunity for me. You set me up. Down to the day we first met. Remember the breakdown on the side of the road? You were such a gentleman for helping me out. You fall for anything, don't you? Bora. Mickey knew someone was tipping off the feds that what I was doing. Guess he never figured it was his own sister. Your brother trusted me, you sadistic bitch. Marcus, you know better than to use that language around a woman. Why'd you do it? It's simple, really. I hate him, and I want to see him go down in flames. That's where you come in. You work for the FBI now, it's perfect. 
You won't be there to deliver the stock and the Chinese will bring him down. You'd have your old brother killed. The same way he had my father killed. Don't do it, Laura. Don't. It'll never be over. For you it is. Chankle. Guess who came to visit me at the gym after you dropped me off? Oh man, you okay? Yeah, yeah, she just uh, grazed my shoulder. You got bigger problems with women than I do. She never cared about you, man. Thanks. Who's that? That's Bora's employer. Gallo's sister. Gallo's sister's dead? And you're involved? What's next? Give Gallo what's his, and find Bora. No, without my help. Whoa! Shit! Hang on, man. I'm gonna oh, call for help. I'm die already, man. Listen, it's better off if you don't. It's better this way. Next time, we say we're gonna sail the Caribbean. Let's sail the Caribbean, all right? Yeah. Marcus, we've been through a lot. Last week, before you came back, Mina gave me a call. What are you talking about? I want to check out. She wanted to cut a deal. What deal? In my files. In my office. I'm sorry, man. sick and you never told me. I'm gonna go make a phone call. Can't believe I asked Big Joe for help and this is what he sends me. One's gonna have backup there. That'll make things more interesting that way. <laughs> but what if Marx doesn't show? One thinks we have the stock. He'll be there. The feds move in, we'll be gone. Don't underestimate him. What the hell are you so worried about, Jack? Marcus knows what's mine and what I paid for. Even if he is a rat, he's still gonna deliver. 
I trust her do that much. This isn't about underestimating. It's about loyalty. Where the fuck did this guy go? That big Joe sent me a real piece of work. Wong's here. the extra guys. You can never have inner protections, especially when you have people trying to ruin you. Where is it? Take it easy. I got one of my guys bringing it, all right? What about you? You got a little something for me? Oh, pretty efficient, huh? You fit it all in that little truck? It's all there. Yeah? You mind if I take a look? Nope. First the papers. Look, Juan, I said it's coming, all right? That guy must be stuck in traffic or something. Mickey, no more games. I said it's coming, all right? I'm not going to let you down. Remember, that's first for everything. <laughs> I didn't expect this from you, Wong. You got everything under control, huh? Almost. There's one small problem, Mickey. The FBI is on to us. I don't like FBI, Mickey. How did this happen? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Wait! This is yours. I can't believe you fucked me. Fuck you. Your own investigative techniques fucked you. Excellent. You can put your gun away now, Mr. FBI agent. He didn't trust me from the beginning. What he didn't know was his own sister was the one trying to ruin him. She lied and said I was working with the feds. Then she hired this scam artist, Bora. To scare me into thinking that the FBI was on all of us. Or it tipped you both off that I was working for the feds. I don't work for anyone. Just wanted to clear the air. That's why your delivery's late. Hey, hey, Laura would never do- She hated you, Mickey! Why don't you ask your friend Jackie? He can tell you more. Where is she? Where is she? She's dead. Hey, what's done is done. What the fuck is going on? It was you? You sent my information to the feds, you fuck! Who killed my little sister? So sorry. Should have trusted me, Mickey.
I didn't know New York's garbage could wash up this far south. This is what it was all about, the two of you. I don't get it. What do you see in this piece of shit? You owe me an explanation. I was well paid. That's what it comes down to. So was I. Well paid. Get back. What are you gonna do, shoot me? Shoot him, Lord! Shoot him! Go ahead, do it. Might as well, he killed everybody else. What's one more? Come on, shoot him! Shoot him! Ah. I'm glad you came. Marcus, I never meant for anybody to die. I'm so sorry it turned out this way. Well, usually the things we do aren't the things we want. Where do we go from here? Now you're on your own. You figure it out.